right, welcome to the now rebranded non-refundable podcast because branding and searchability factors made it easier than having an hour of your life brackets non-refundable. Turns out Googling two words is far more easier than 19. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is now the non-refundable podcast, podcast, podcast um, brackets, an hour of your life. So I do have a legal disclaimer passed to me from my legal team. Give me two seconds. What do you mean your legal team? Oh, you, you don't. Okay. They are the cheapest legal team in the world. So uh, the disclaimer is, uh, the yeah, the 177 Entertainment uh, legal team have told me to remind you that this is an entirely non-refundable podcast. We here at 177 make no promises that what you're about to listen to will contribute to your life in any way. There's a high chance that what you're about to hear is totally totally inaccurate, and the views expressed within are those of the parsip... parsip there words. Parsip... I can't say the word. Uh, those are the participants. Thank you very oh, much. Yeah. Those are the participants and the participants alone. That word again. I'm yeah. just failing my words today. Uh, and do not represent 177 Entertainment's views on politics, celebrities, news, facts, or any opinions on the world in general. We would also like to remind you that this is a satirical podcast with mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those with a serious disposition or lack of understanding in the art of humour may want to turn off now. Please listen responsibly. Right, that's the legal bit out of the way. Legally sound. Even if it was a complete shit show on my part. <laughs> it's alright. I'm sure the more and more you read that, the better you'll get it. I, t- I t- challenge accepted. I'll continue <laughs> to fuck that up for Didn't however get incredibly bad for it? however long that I continue <laughs> to do this. Yeah. Um, I did have a quick Google, and by quick Google I mean literally thirty seconds. I googled this. Google. This news in uh, this uh, fucking words. Uh, this week in news, which, considering this is a Monday, was relatively short. <laughs> yeah, go. Um, well, obviously this didn't happen today, but um, the uh, Chuckleberry Finn died the other day. Yes. Yeah, a great yeah. writer of the Back to the Future. Soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, just Back to the Future, you might as well have written the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah. Um, and obviously my favourite song, My ding a Yes. I well, love that song. Beautiful song. <laughs> yes, My ding a My ding a Why oh, won't you play with My ding a Maybe I will if you're very lucky. That wasn't a, that wasn't a question. Um, <laughs> More of a demand. Yeah. Uh, but on a light note, Mr. Rockefeller died today, oh. around age of 101, and I believe on his either sixth or seventh heart. Wow, that he, is yeah a lot of hearts. And he died of conjunctive heart failure, or <laughs> another word, heart failure is what he died of. <laughs> and his body just going no. Yeah, no, this, you're done now. You're done. This Seriously. Is, yeah. Uh, and the other thing is the Brexit thing. Is happening. Yes. Apparently, the, the Queen. Some Brexiting occurring. Yeah, the Queen said it's okay. Um, oh, excellent. For, for, I mean, for all pomp and circumstance, that is technically still a legal requirement. Right. Um, any Anything past her government, she has to have the okay of. She has to kind of go, yeah, yeah, all right then. Yeah, not that she can say no, but no. she does have to say yes. Do you think she actually read it? Uh, she probably went, Philippe, what is this? I like, just, just signed it there. Okay. Just, just agree. Yeah. Oh, shit. It stops all the foreign people coming in and Ooh. other racist stereotypes around the Duke of Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was. I saw uh, Toyota, of all people, were saying, mm. yeah, if you do that, there's like £230 million pounds worth of investment we ain't going to do. Oh, yeah. Awkward. And uh, considering you make a large amount of Toyotas and Nissans here. Yeah. Mm. But it's mm. good because Nissan's being bought by Perge. Shit. Being bought by the French. <laughs> Good. I mean, they're owned by the Germans currently, so it's, that'll be fine, probably. Yeah, Coke's fine. Yeah, or not? No, no. I, I, I'm about to go to the world's going to shit. Um, Again, I mean, the world's always been shit. It's just getting shit to Yeah. Um. That's, honestly, that's pretty much all the notes I have. Cool. Um, glossed over them really quick. <laughs> all the things that happened in the news. So that's that's uh, non-refundable. Uh, welcome, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was a short non-refundable. Yeah, it was a grand total of four minutes. There you go. Nice. Yeah. There you go. So you... Three of which you tried to say participant. <laughs> three of which, yeah. <laughs> Please, three minutes and 49 seconds. <laughs> and the rest um, is me having a cigarette. I'm afraid I, I haven't... Uh... So you brought forward the podcast 24 hours, not giving me time to repair, and didn't even have anything to contribute. Basically, yeah. Like, I don't have to pay attention to the news at the moment. No. So I'm not, <laughs> because it's insanely depressing all the time. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it is literally, like, as Russell Howe said, an opera of horrors. Yeah. It's like, just not just the metal, it's just everything. Yeah, like, I think the only things that I really pay attention to at the moment are things that scroll up on Facebook. So, yeah, I, I knew about uh, Chuck, Chuck passing Barrett. on. Yeah. yeah. Which is a shame. Yeah. Um, 
I didn't know about Rockefeller, but I'm that was also... that was literally today. Right, I'm also not surprised. No, I mean he was 101. Time. As I say, he's 65 percent of all of it has just disappeared. It's in a mm. medical basket somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So, so I mean, yeah, that's, that's entirely fair. Yeah. And Brexit, yeah, I, I know some stuff going on there. Um, and Theresa May, from what I can pick yeah. up, is just lying about everything still. Oh yeah, well she's conservative. Well, yeah. I say conservative. She's a politician. Yeah, and like you turning on everything. Yeah, yeah. We we we'll do this, but we're not going. To but we won't. But yeah. we will. If but it'll be fine. Happen, but we won't. won't. Yeah. So yeah, that seems to be the general sort of. And and Trump is still Trumping. Horrible. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I I've lost track of what yeah. evil horrible. Like his first see. week, I I caught this thing that literally like the first week of Trump, and it just listed. What he'd achieved in seven days, the various horrors he'd achieved in seven days. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. Um, and then I kind of didn't want to pay attention to it anymore. No, no, it's understandable because he'd done enough bad stuff in seven days. Yeah, like, now imagine what he's going to do in four years. It's going to be fun. Oh god, he's going to be a fun ride. soon. I'm sure he'll get. Oh yeah, soon. he'll get assassinated if not impeached. Yeah, one or the other. Um, yeah, there's what's I, I forget what um, the small angry lady from Scotland is called. Sturgeon. That one. Yeah, yeah the fish. Yeah. Um, yeah, she wants to have another referendum. Mm. Theresa May's basically gone, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shows how much, how much legal sway the uh, yeah. like you, little political sway the Scottish government you, has You here. can't blame them for wanting to. Oh, right, right. right. I mean, from what I understand, God, yeah. a lot of Scottish people don't particularly like uh, Nicola Fish. But, no. um, but yeah. a lot of Scottish people do like referendum. She, she well... Apparently, last lot of them. Didn't well, care. yeah, very true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. maybe they just like having it, but they don't necessarily want. Uh, certain it. Scottish people like having a referendum. Yeah, um, I saw a thing the other day that said if Scotland does get another referendum, surely we should have another Brexit vote, because obviously when we voted the first time round, it was it with Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. That makes sense. So I mean, yeah, let's have you, another one. Kick them off. To be fair, it could good. only go worse. Scotland was the only thing that was keeping us in Europe. Mm. The only reason that they had like thirty something percent of the overall votes, and then there was like. Several districts in London. Yeah. Um, we were very much racist in our vote in this oh, area. Yeah. That was disappointing. It's all those yeah. goddamn Slovakians that are taking the jobs that the English people don't want, but they want to be able to give them for free, but don't want to do the work because yeah. it's menial. But then they're taking all their jobs and their benefits, but they don't want to work because they have a sore back. They'd rather sit at home and get wait for the good jobs that for, they can get with the no qualifications they left yeah. school with. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it was a vote right. of bitter people. Yeah. And people going, I, I want my jobs back, but I don't want to work for them because I don't have any qualifications. And I don't, don't actually want the job, exactly. I don't want the job, yeah. It's like, so you're going to work for it? I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I want the opportunity to have, it just for, yeah. have my jobs back. But yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, the world's going to, well, the world's always been a shit, but I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to non rebundle the <laughs> misery podcast. It's just a, a, a in, incoherent rambling on my end, to be honest. Well, that seems fair. That's my life. Yeah. Incoherent rambles and mumbles. Also, oh, today was the first day of spring. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you tell? Yeah. With the it's wetter than and the lambs. And... Yeah, it's wetter than the last few days than what we've had as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's an incredibly miserable day. First day of spring. Get Britain. In. Yay. Sorry, England. Yeah, I, I had to stand on a, uh, a train station in the drizzle. Which on a horrible. train station, not on a platform. Just well, on a, I was on, on the, the roof. roof. Probably the train a good station. idea. Lording um, over it all. Yeah. This is my territory. It wasn't that. I was on the platform. Mm. But the, the annoying thing about drizzle is that you don't really realise how much moisture there is. Oh, yeah. And it's all like two minutes Drizzle is the worst. Hang on a second. I'm drenched. Yeah, this drizzle is the worst. It's just Horrible. annoying. Yeah. Especially drizzle plus wind equals aggravation. It's like being very gently submerged and just not really realising. Yeah, but you, you're outside and it's not raining, but you always turn up wherever you're going absolutely sodden. As if you've just been through an actual rainstorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, like you're wetter than if it were absolutely happening. Yeah. Now. But at least if it's happening, you can understand why you're wet. Yeah. You drizzle, it's like, oh, it's, it's mist. It's, it's kind of an era. Oh, now I'm drenched. Oh, everything is... I'm wearing jeans and now I weigh oh, 1,700 pounds. Yes. Wet jeans, the misery. Yeah, the, the, misery. the chafe that is wet the jeans chafe as well. And the 16 hours it will take them to dry. Yes. Yeah. And just the, they always just slowly pour themselves down. Yeah. Because well, they're so goddamn. We're old. old, by the way. I mean, he's not, but I'm. I, well, I'm getting there. But, uh, you are old. You're old. I am old. You're, you're there and past it. I, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm way out the other side. At the end of this, I'm just going to shoot Jay because it's just time Please to put <laughs> just... down. There's a glue factory somewhere yeah. desperate for me. At least something is, I yeah. suppose. You know, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, desperation. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the cheeriest podcast ever. Mm. Uh, episode one. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There's a title in here somewhere. 
Upside, I've got tea. You might hear me slurping occasionally. This, is, uh, this isn't the most uh, dreary podcast. This is the most British podcast. So far, we've talked about... The weather. The weather. Crap politics. T- tea. We're really old. We complained continuously. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've said a lot of words a lot of people probably can't understand. This is a thoroughly British podcast. It is. There you go, there's a title, thoroughly, uh, thoroughly, there, episode one, a thoroughly British broadcast. I, yeah, I can't talk! I don't know that you should say that things. Words. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I shouldn't say words and things. If you just hold up a big sign with what you're intending to say, and Is I'll it, say it for you. That'd be really good in this audio podcast, I'll just stand yeah. here and give you visual cues. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, not oh dear. Um, I, yeah, I literally have nothing else to contribute, I keep looking at my phone going, maybe notes will appear. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I, well, I wrote them while I wasn't I, looking. I did have a brain fart, so if you could vamp for a second, I did have something that was quite funny. Okay, do it. Um, so, so how's your day been? Uh, my day's been blah. It's been blah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been mm. all the blah. Um, I was at work, and work is blah. Did you have to do any work while at work? Because if you did, it's better than my day. Um, well, yeah, yeah, like a Monday is always super busy for us, so I actually had to do quite a bit of work. More work than I certainly wanted to do. I would say. I mean, yeah. I'm... The thing is, when I'm at work, I, I mm. want to be able to do work. And at the moment, it's just... It's just not happening. There's, there's, just there's nothing fuck to all, do. Yeah, fuck all people are coming in the shop, if I'm honest. Yeah, that um, makes it tricky. Yeah, it really does. Is this the website I was using before? Right, so yeah, so the vamping done. Um, yeah. I was the other day just regaling people at work and then some friends later on about stupid laws that are still in place. Mm. Um, America by far and away has the best laws, best stupid yeah. laws. Um, but we do have some cracking ones. Mm-hmm. One of the ones I can remember is in Ameri- in London, it is illegal for you to string a washing line over a main main road. Of course. Yeah, it is. I mean it's common sense for a start. Yeah, but it's also um, illegal. It is also illegal to have a pigsty at the front of your property in London. What about the back? Oh no, the back's fine. But the front but the specifically. Front. Well, the, the back. I mean, the good life. They were all over that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And chickens and whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, no pig styles in front of your property. No, no washing lines. Yeah, that was... Particularly not the two together, because your it, pigs are going to get in the washing. And... Yeah, no. Nice. Nice. You'd have to wash them again. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're all covered in shit. Um, there's also one which was... It's illegal to transport a dead body. I should probably put that on time. Um, in a cab. Okay. It's illegal. It's not, I mean, it's... Again, common sense. Yeah, I probably but, wouldn't. No, you really bad at trying to get away and murder. Yeah, <laughs> just put it in a cab. Take this to I would, somewhere you dump a body. Thanks. I would like to think that that law was created by funeral directors. Someone had, a funeral director had <laughs> yeah. a friend going, look, these cabbies, the, we charge X-ray. These cabbies are doing it for diamond. Like, yeah, for and pen, like the, cars, the, the car's big and black, a yeah. lot like ours. Yeah. I mean... And you can fold the back seats down. Have you seen a Rick Master? You could easily get yeah. like three bodies in there. Yeah, easy. Stack them yeah. high. Yeah. It's, a, a, it's, a, it's all a giant plot mm. from funeral directors and hearse drivers. Makes That's sense. So I've just done a quick Google of... Uh, I've ended up on BuzzFeed, mm-hmm. as you do. Whenever you Google anything, you're trying to find a list. It's like yeah. BuzzFeed. Yeah, all uh, credit to BuzzFeed for whatever's about to happen. Yeah, this is, I'm reciting this is BuzzFeed. This is written by James Ball, special correspondent from BuzzFeed UK. Uh, and what it is, is 14 weird British laws that everyone thinks are true. Well, apparently they aren't. Oh, okay. I wonder how many of these I have either heard or have told people are true. I'd uh, be embarrassed to find out they're not. Oh, the, oh, these do vary between being either they are or they aren't. So, oh, okay. So, so some, some are, some aren't. Yeah, so I, right, I've okay, now invented gonna, a game. I was going to say, are we going to play a little game? Yeah, we're playing a game. Okay. Uh, we'll play a lot of games on this because I'm not a particularly interesting person. So creating <laughs> merriment is better than me sort of trying to be witty and or funny um so number one yeah apparently a regular thing is it is illegal to carry a plank along a pavement it's illegal to carry a plank along a pavement yes plank is in plank i think wood. i'm gonna call bullshit on that that's not a real law it is true really yes but i've seen many men carrying many planks on many pavements uh well it says true this has been illegal since 1839 okay the act also bans you from sliding on snow playing annoying games and flying kites in the street. No wow. Fun. And yeah, is it no fun, please? We're British. Yeah, that's genuine. It is. It's like, are you, are you, are you wow. currently having fun? Don't. Stop. Stop it. Stop it right now. Wow. Uh, the next one is, is it illegal to die in Parliament? As in to, uh, for a member of Parliament to die within. It was, uh, I, I assume this was to stop genocide uh, <laughs> yeah. in a Parliament. Like, Wait, is it illegal to die in... No, like... 
No, you're right. It's, it's not illegal to die in Parliament. I mean, I don't know who you're going to arrest at that point. Yeah, I was going to say. Well. Thing, if, if you make someone die in Parliament, that's murder. Yeah, and that's, that's illegal anyway, <laughs> regardless yeah. of being in Parliament. Uh, like, then... you have a massive coronary and die in Parliament, and they arrest your corpse or your next of kin? Well, it states here in the article, it says there's a long-standing myth that you are not allowed to die in Parliament because the government <laughs> would have to give you a state funeral. They wouldn't. <laughs> at least four people have died in Parliament, including Guy Fawkes, who was executed on site. Not put on a rack, apparently, no. because he was meant to be tortured, as, so, uh, as the myth goes. <laughs> I just like the phrasing, not allowed. Like, they see someone and they think, I think he's about to croak. Stop him! Yeah. No, him outside. no! Him outside now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to deal with that here. Huh? Imagine the smell. Oh. Right, that's the House of Lords. Yeah. That smell, think, smells vaguely of urine. Right. Okay, so that one was bullshit. That was bullshit, that one. Okay, so I'm, I'm one out of two. On to question the third. It is illegal not to carry out at least two hours of longbow practice a week. No, I don't think that's true. Uh, it says not anymore, so currently no, it isn't true. Cool. Uh, Englishmen aged between 17 and 60 were required to own longbow and practice yeah. it using it, uh, practice using it regularly by a law enacted in 1541. I can, yeah, I can understand that that's, being a yeah. law because like... That is a more sensible version of you're allowed to arm yourself than the Americans have. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're going to try and draw a longbow on someone, if you hit someone, kudos. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if anyone's ever picked up or tried to draw a longbow. That fuck's hard. Yeah. It's six... You would need to practice two hours a day every day to to be able to do it. It is a six-foot bow. I believe it's made of you. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think so, yeah. Um, And it it requires an immense amount of draw strength. Yeah. And really hard to be inaccurate. I have fired it a few times... Because I'm British and I went to Cubs. Yeah. Uh, a inherently American tradition, but British. But still, but we um, totally took it. Yeah, Baden Powell, dip, 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 and all that. And um, yeah, that one. Um, and yeah, I ended up firing longbow when I was about 11. I'm guessing not very far. I, I, yeah, I, I think it went about three feet. Yeah. Like, I drew the string probably about an inch, maybe two. <laughs> Dunk. Yeah, oh. it basically was. Like, think of any sad gif of someone trying to fire an arrow and you just go firing straight down into the floor. That was me. That was it, yeah. But I was almost half the height of the bow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It was a comical sight to behold. Uh, but it says this law was eventually repealed, but much later than you think. Can you give me a decade that you think this law was made? I'll tell you it's in the 90s. Nin- 19s. 19s. It's in the 19s, yes. Okay, so... I reckon it was... I think it's going to be something really stupid, like the 30s or something. No, it's 1960. Jesus, yeah. really? So anyone that was... With my old granddads and... Yeah, yeah, so uh, I, like uncles, I was... I was thinking it would have been after... World War One sort of... Yeah, you know, between... Went, oh, wait a second. We've got guns now. Oh, wait, that thing. Gunpowder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, wow. that, apparently 1960 it was repealed. That's mad. Um, I'm guessing it wasn't particularly strongly enforced no. up to 1960. No, it's just things with these laws. They exist, but they're never enforced. Yeah, exactly. So. All right, I'm two. Two for two. Uh, two for four. Yeah. No, two for three, sorry. Uh, question the fourth. It is illegal to beat or shake any carpet or rug in any street... I want to go with that actually being true. It is true. Yeah. yeah. Bear in mind, this is stupid laws. Yeah, so yeah. There is every chance that the ones that are just like, ah, bollocks, that yeah. they will be true. Uh, this has been illegal since 1839, but you're allowed to beat a doormat provided you do it before 8am. <laughs> it is also illegal to keep a pigsty in front of your house. So yeah, yeah. Slaughter cattle in the street. Sing rude songs on the street. So Ooh. footballers, you're going to prison. Yeah. Um, best place for you. Uh, or to ring your neighbour's doorbell and run away. So knock down ginger. <laughs> knock down ginger. Totally is illegal. illegal. Yeah. Or for the people who call it wrong, ding dong ditch. Oh is, god! Is, Could you imagine being in jail and having that awkward what you in for? Oh, just knock go down ginger. Yeah, go to court. What will they catch you for? Rape. What will they catch you for? Knock down ginger. <laughs> well, I'm, too. Well, I'm gonna put a bit of dog poo on this porch and I'll ring the doorbell and I'll run away. <laughs> Yeah, that is a really shit reason to go to prison. That is terrible. Uh, question the fifth. It is illegal to be drunk on licensed premises, i.e. in a pub. It is illegal that to be seems drunk on licensed premises. insanely counterintuitive. It is insanely counterintuitive. And therefore, I reckon it's true. It is true. Yeah. <laughs> That's a kind of odd law that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's illegal. Uh, a, a place that has probably the oldest places of drinking in maybe, I don't know, probably the known world, but I'm sure China probably yeah. has some. Um, in the Western world, we'll go with that one. I'm relatively confident in that. Um, it is illegal to be drunk in a pub. However, there are some. I, I was aware of this law. 
because this was one of the other ones I have picked up. Mm. Um, he goes, th- this one is enforced under at least three separate laws. Yeah. Under the 1872 Licensing Act, there is a penalty for every person found drunk uh-huh. in a licensed premises, while in 1839, uh, in 1839's Political Act forbids landlords from permitting drunkenness. Right. A, a landlord of a pub is, illegal, is illegal for a landlord to, to allow his patrons to be drunk. Yeah. And in 2003, Licensing Act also makes it an offence to sell alcohol to a drunk person or to buy a drunk person a drink. Okay, yeah, that one... That one I vaguely knew it's, like, Yeah, it's, like it's where you draw the line, really, on that one, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's a judgement thing, isn't it? Like, yeah. how drunk is too drunk? Yeah, if it was anything like I, the, one of the persons I saw the other day, he should have been cut off a long there's, time Because there's levels, right? So there's, like, I don't know quite what order they would go in, but you have Mary... And Mary is generally before ego. It's generally, in my Mary's mind, like, I think Mary's the earliest one. Isn't yeah, like, in my mind, enough drinks just to make you happy about life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you which get, for some people is half. What I call it a good buzz. Drinks. You get a good buzz going. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got tipsy. Yeah. Which when you've got just beyond that, That's and you're a bit more drunk. prone to fall over, you weave a little bit. There's a little bit of a slur. It's the first point you go. Hmm. I'm a bit drunk. I have had alcohol. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and then I suppose after tipsy. You probably go. That's, that's when you just fall into drunk. Then you're drunk. Yeah. And then you're getting into like hammered and. And then you go into various <laughs> various words oh, that, as we're British, we can use. You go and turn into gazebo, po- like exactly. bus stopped, whatever yeah. form of item you wish to yeah. denote how drunk you are above wasted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, merry, tipsy, drunk, wasted. Anything like, else? Word. Yeah. Word. In, yeah. Insert your own word here. So yeah, that was it's just a really funny law, really. Yeah. Um, I did find out that it is basically it's the landlord that could be prosecuted for. It's not the drunk person, which <laughs> is the best part because he let it happen. Yeah, I mean it is illegal for, to sell alcohol to a drunk person. That is the landlord What's that, that an would. Enabler? Yeah, it, all of that is basically it's illegal for someone to allow you to be drunk on their premises. Yeah. Is basically what it says. Okay, right. Uh, so question the sixth: It is illegal to be drunk in charge of a horse. Drunk. In charge of a horse. I'm going to say that's true because that, again, that just makes sense. Like, yeah. that's essentially drink driving laws. It is. It, it, well, drink riding. But yeah. Drink riding, yeah. yeah. Uh, it is true. Uh, this dates back to 1872. You're also not allowed to be drunk in charge of a cow or while carrying a loaded firearm, which seems pretty sensible. <laughs> all good. No, I mean, they're all good reasons. I mean, the cow is a bit meh, but, um, but we are a nation of cows. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and the firearm, definitely. That's well, I mean, it's, a illegal. Good idea. it's a, illegal for a large amount of people to have a firearm. Yeah, so. yeah. But. Definitely for any of them to be drunk with one. Seems sensible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, question the seventh. It is illegal to shoot a Welshman with a longbow on a Sunday in a cathedral close in Hereford. That one is bollocks. Or inside the city walls of Chester after midnight. Or a Scotsman within the walls of York other than on a Sunday. Yeah, it's bollocks. Yeah, all of those bollocks. Yeah. Uh, please do not do any of these. The Law Commission couldn't find any evidence that these laws ever existed. It is illegal to shoot a Welsh, Scotch or any other persons on a day location of choice, they state. A police please do not shoot uh, or otherwise kill anyone. That is definitely illegal. Yeah, yeah, that's just again. That's just murder. that's the aforementioned yeah. murder. Yeah. Uh, number eight is illegal to eat mince pies on Christmas Day. I think it should be because they're disgusting. They are. They are awful things. They're, they're one awful, of the worst things. things of the festive. Like just get rid of mince pies and have more pigs in blankets. Yeah, pigs in blankets or pie rings. Yeah, yeah, pie rings. Yeah. Everyone loves pie rings. Oh. So I'm going to say it is because I want it to be true. It happened one time. Right. I don't quite know how that works. Yeah. But Christmas Day in 1644 fell on a legally mandated fast day. Right. Okay. So it would so have been wasn't... illegal to eat mince pie, even though they weren't specifically mentioned. So but then it was technically it was illegal to eat, eat. anything. Just, that it's day, illegal so... to eat. Yeah. So that yeah, it's basically it, it depends. I'm not going to count. I'm not. I'm going to say I answered that one wrong because I don't think that really counts. No. I've, I hope you're keeping track of your score because I've forgotten. Yeah. I totally am. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're five and two. I got five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, question of the ninth: It is illegal to jump the queue in the tube ticket hall. Damn straight. <laughs> it, is a, it is true. Damn straight. It's, it's illegal that, to jump any kind of queue anywhere. Yeah, that is probably the most Brit. There are very British laws here. Yeah. It's illegal to have fun. It's illegal to play knockdown down ginger. It's illegal to jump a fucking queue. Damn straight. Yeah. It is specifically in the ticket hall of the London tube station. Yeah. So as long as there is a sign telling you to queue or a member of staff, queue jumping is illegal under the TfL bylaws. You have to join from the back. This is possibly the most British law in existence. Yeah, so, agreed. Unless there's something mentioning tea later on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is illegal to destroy or deface money? Now, that's one of those ones that I've heard enough times mm-hmm. that I actually reckon is not true. Uh, mostly true. Mostly So, I true. would factor on that is mostly wrong for your question. Yeah, <laughs> your yeah. Answer. 
But yeah, again, as a, as a definitive yes or no, then it's, this is not the best. Uh, if you want to destroy a banknote for some reason, it's actually legal. But under the Currency Banknotes Act of 1928, it's illegal to deface a banknote by drawing, stamping, or printing on it. It's okay. also illegal to destroy coins. So that pound called my dad attacked the mower. That was a break of the law. Break of the law. Break of the law. Break of the law. Uh, question the 11th. It is illegal to place a stamp of the Queen upside down on a letter. No. No, it is not illegal. No, that's, okay. that's too easily done for it to be illegal by mistake. <laughs> it's illegal to do anything with intention of disp- uh, deposing the Queen, uh, but this is fine. The Royal Mail would deliver letter as normal. Yeah, of course they would. <laughs> the, the, the re- I, I assume the reason they think it is is because it, it, it whole upside down cross, upside down Queen, actual yeah, rebellion, like, and the Royal Mail it is technically a royal institution. So Going back to the, the money thing, the reason that I always heard you couldn't deface it was because it's defacing a, an yeah, image of the monarch. Queen, and yeah. therefore it's essentially treason. Yeah, well, yeah which, uh, which is, is, not, is not, not, no. It, well, yeah. treason is not punishable by death. Everyone thinks it is still punishable by death. It is not. It's punishable by a slap on the wrist. Yeah, it's punishable by a, probably an, an indefinable amount of time in prison. Yeah. But not, not nothing. Actually. Nothing in the UK carries a. Um, I can't think of the word. Death, Death penalty. That's it. I was trying to think of another word. Uh, capital punishment. That's yeah. what I was trying to think of. Um, question of twelve. It mm. is illegal to stand within a hundred yards of the reigning monarch without wearing socks. <laughs> I just I, need, I just need a moment to let that sink in. <laughs> it is illegal to stand within a hundred yards of the reigning monarch. Without wearing socks. I am calling bullshit on that. That is That's indeed fucking bullshit. ridiculous. Fear not, you can go sockless near Royals Queen Elizabeth. The first did make it illegal in her presence, wearing shirts with outrageous double ruffs, or hose of monstrous and outrageous greatness. <laughs> so obscene neck fr- neck frills and yeah. trousers, basically. Yeah. Um, That's fair. Which seems fair enough. Uh, but these laws are, were repealed by James I. Who loved? An outrageous he, neck ruff. Yeah, he, he was very much the Percy of ruffs. He, he, he if he could look like a, a bird that swallowed a dinner plate, he would. He would absolutely do that. Uh, question the 13th. It is illegal to handle salmon in suspicion, su- suspicious circumstances. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these laws <laughs> are very... Phrased. Yeah, th- these are very specifically it's phrased It's illegal laws. to handle salmon. Salmon is in the, the flappy fish. flappy, yeah. It's illegal to handle salmon in a susp- in suspicious circumstances. So you cannot look suspicious while you're <laughs> in control of the salmon. Fish. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say in what state. I don't know whether you can have John Smith can salmon or if, yeah. it, if it's just a what full salmon. What if I've broken into a supermarket and stolen a shitload of salmon? Well, that's stealing, so that is illegal. But is that I don't, know if, the, I don't know if they can tack on a suspicious circumstances of salmon law on top of that. What about of if I didn't break into the supermarket, mm-hmm. let's say I fell through the skylight. Right. So I'm inside illegally, but not intentionally that's, that's, illegally. Technically, that'd be B&E because you're still on the roof. But not. Um, I might have been up there stargazing. I was up there stargazing. Well, I'm still trespassing. Totally yeah. innocent. Still I had permission to be on the roof. Okay. I fell through the skylight. <laughs> right. And I landed... In amongst a load of salmon. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I have this a, is a grey area, right? I have a uh, policeman officer friend. I will. I can appeal to him and come back to you next yeah. week, possibly. So, uh, um, I'm going to say that this is also bullshit, just because of the, the sheer vagueness of it. Uh, it's true. Bollocks, is it? Is, it, is, it is, uh, this is illegal under the Salmon Act of 1980. The Salmon Act? The Salmon Act. Uh, what that, have people been doing with salmon that have made that law? I don't know. The Law Commission did not elaborate as to what counts as suspicious. Uh, as a suspicious way to handle salmon, you can check the original law here, the hyperlink, but it won't help that much. Because it probably just says what they said. Okay. Uh, that is ridiculous. Question the 14th. All swans are the property of the Queen and killing one is an act of treason. Bollocks. It is. Uh, not all swans. But so some. Partially bollocks. Yeah. The Queen has first dibs on all wild, <laughs> unmarked, mute swans in open water. That's so awesome that's not specific. any swans I assume that would be in uh, like a zoo. I yeah, don't think they're, they're not, not the Queen's. Hers, I imagine no. they're a property of the zoo. Um, but any you find in any park in England, yes, they are property. But not if they're not in open water. If they're on the side. Oh yeah, no. If they're on land, go for it. Yeah, it's yours. Yeah. But provide, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a there's a longbow joke in there somewhere. Almost but it's there. yeah. I, I've brother, just got an image of seeing one in the water and me swimming out, thinking I'm gonna have this swan, and the queen just swooping in her dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, bitches. <laughs> um, uh, it has sim- it's been illegal since the 12th century. Wow. But, uh, only. Only actually claims once. 
So, and as since, I'll read it all again. The Queen has first dibs on all wild, unmarked mute swans in open water and has since the 12th century, but only actually claims ones on the Thames and some tributaries. It is illegal to kill one of those, but isn't actually treason. And the Queen has no claim on tame swans or other types of swan. There you go. So if you want to kill a swan... Make sure it's A, or not a mute, or B, on land. Yeah, or C, or C. not near the Thames. Yeah, basically. in a zoo or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, or buy a swan. I'm sure they're... Buy your own swan. Buy a swan off the... Black we are not advocating that you murder swans, by the way. That's no, we're just... Thing to do. Just merely clarifying the legality of which oh, your position would be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there are Important some fantastic, deal. stupid American laws, and I will just do a quick Google on those. So while you're doing that, I'll update on scores. Mm -hmm. I think... I think you got about eight. I got eight, eight yeah. Yeah, eight, eight out of 14. Yeah, so I'm going to go with eight. Well, actually, it's not... Considering I have I, no... Let me just clarify this. No legal training. <laughs> I'm not even a bird lawyer. I'm the bird law. Um, but... I think 8 out of 14 is not bad. Yeah, I mean, 8 out of 10 cats is successful, so... Exactly. you got 8 out of 14 laws. Weird-ass laws. Yeah. yeah. So we're now on to... This is on Just Something website. Um, it doesn't have a web page. Uh, JustSomething.co. I should not come. Uh, 22 most ridiculous US laws still in effect today. So these okay. are same, all laws. Same game? No, these are all, all effect. Oh, all these are all still laws. in effect? Yeah, yeah okay. these are all actually still in effect. Christ. Oh, so... Uh, in North Carolina, bingo games cannot last longer than five hours. I think that's just a good law. I mean, who wants to play bingo for five hours, really? Who wants to play bingo? Uh, in Quitman, uh, GA is Georgia. Sure. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, it's not uh, it's, Georgia. I don't know. We're not where, American. Yeah, wherever Quitman is. Uh, chickens are not allowed to cross the road. That man was not having any of that. <laughs> he was like, no jokes in Georgia. Why did the chicken cross the road to put it your ass didn't. in prison? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to put your ass in prison. That's why yeah. it crossed the road. It really just didn't like it. Uh, in Arizona, if you cut down a cactus, you can be sentenced to 25 years in prison. Shit. Mm -hmm. uh, in Paulding, Ohio, policemen are allowed to bite a dog if they think it will calm the dog down. I don't know how in any way biting anything will calm it the fuck down, but... It, yeah, I, that's an odd one. Yeah, I assume any other way is illegal to bite a dog. That's the other thing you can get from it. Yeah. Uh, in Texas, it's illegal to sell your eyeballs. <laughs> I believe that's called black market trading. Is illegal to sell any of your body parts. Yeah, I don't know why okay. my laws are specific. Uh, in North Carolina, it's against the law to sing off key. So I'm not going oh, to North Christ, Carolina. Yeah. Uh, in Rhode Island, you may not sell toothpaste. Oh, hang on. I've, I've had those loaded and moved me all the way down the page. Uh, so it's yeah. got to be more than that. Yeah, not yeah. just illegal to sell toothpaste. Uh, Rhode Island, you may not sell toothpaste and toothbrush to the same customer on a Sunday. Only on a Sunday. Yeah, dental hygiene is not allowed on a Sunday. You, you can buy some... one or the other. Yeah, you just can't, you can't sell the same person. Or bring a friend. Yeah, and you can buy one, buy one of them. Yeah, that's fine. That's interesting. Uh, in Gainesville, again, Georgia, I believe, uh, you're not allowed to eat fried chicken in any other way than using your hands. Yeah. Americans are fiercely protective over their fried chicken. And their hands. And their hands. Yeah. Uh, in Utah, marriage between cousins is against the law if they are younger than 65. So as long as you're over 65, go to town. Strange. Yeah. I assume you're... Uh, it's probably a genetic thing. Like, you're over biological age anyway. Knock yourself out. Yeah, like, yeah. odds of you having kids. Oh, slim. slim. To none, yeah. Plus, if it's your cousin, there's a fair chance you're probably not that attractive. And if you're 65 yeah. and still unmarried, it's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> do what you like. Just get some happiness while you can. This is a really good one. In Minna uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, red cars may not drive down Lake Street. Uh, Lake Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know where Lake Street is, obviously. You'd I assume hope, it's near a lake. Yeah. You'd hope nobody that lives on it has a red car. Well, not even, yeah. I mean, if they did, they'd have to just park around the corner. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Carrizozo, New Mexico, it's forbidden for a female to appear unshaven in public. I'm assuming that... I, I imagine that's something to do with, like, freak shows and side shows. They just, yeah, we're having none, like, of the, none of them bearded ladies. Because how would you know... Yeah, it doesn't it's specify what body part. I'm sure if I were to get the legal documents up, we could would. check. Yeah, but I'm I'm not going that far. Because like, if they have to be completely hairless, that's that's awkward. And it's really useful if you have alopecia. Yeah, that's really true. true. Uh, so if if anyone is suffering from alopecia, go there. Um, you can freely go to wherever the hell that was, Carrizozo, New Mexico. And, and um, don't worry, you'll fit right in. Yeah, I mean, you, well, you can walk around there without committing any crimes ever. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's that seems to be a blanket statement. Yeah, well, if you walk around that, there and sorry, shoot someone dead, a sign done in the movie. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, in Alabama, bear wrestling matches are prohibited. 
I, I take it you're talking about bear as in the last B-A-R. furry. Yeah, not not, not like, bomb. Not like brov bear wrestling matches. No. You can only have one or two. Or not a large amount. Or wrestling <coughs> with a, a large homosexual man covered in hair. No, either of those things. Be him power bottom or not. Maybe it means all of them. Maybe it's all of them. Yeah, it's just spelled B E A R. I interpret that as you will. Uh, in Wyoming, you may not take a picture of a rabbit from January to April without an official permit. Okay. Yeah. It's a really strict hunting season rule. I think it was to just protect against, because I'm assuming that's rabbit killing off season, or sure. or it might be killing season, and just to stop you going out and taking pictures of rabbits and getting shot. Yeah. Uh, but I also thought it could be to protect against a possible rise in camera designed guns. <laughs> yes, yeah. it could be, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm, I would like that to be true. Yeah. Uh, in Washington, you cannot buy meat of any kind on a Sunday. I assume that goes back to some form of old yeah. Jewish or Christian law or something yeah, like that. Some sort of religious religion thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it could even be Mormon. I don't know where Washington, Northern, is that kind of. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough about that shit. Um, Indiana, it is illegal to attend a public event or use public transport within four hours of eating onions or garlic. That is just courtesy. That's, yeah, that's just I, nice. That is just, just legally enforced courtesy. Yeah. Uh, in San Antonio, flirting is against the law. I would get fine there. I I would get on just fine. Big, Ter- terrible flirting. Big big flirt. No, it's no flirting in general. Flirting is illegal. Not bad flirting. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine because it's yeah. probably better for everyone that I don't try. Oh, so yeah, if I go yeah. somewhere where it's legally mandated, I can't. Yeah, true. That's right. This is quite a good one as well. Idaho it is illegal for a man to give a fiance a box of candy that weighs more than fifty pounds. Oh, fifty pounds seems quite a bit. Yeah, twenty-two point five kilos. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a lot of weight. Yeah. That's a decently sized dumbbell. Yeah, I think that's probably just safe, really. Yeah. Right? Because really? you will give your fiancé diabetes instantly. There are two on this list that are my favourite. This is one of them. Um, in Washington, again, state, I believe, mm-hmm. uh, a motorist with criminal intentions mm-hmm. must stop at the city limits and telephone the chief of police as he's entering the town. <laughs> is that regardless of where like, criminal intentions are? Yeah, just say so if you're anyone... passing through. Yeah, no, like, no, if I, you had, yeah, chief just... police, I'm intending to rob a casino in Vegas, but I'm, but I'm just I'm, passing I'm through. through. Uh, I haven't done anything yet. I'm just trying to let you know because yeah. I don't want to break this law. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's, I just like the fact that been you uh, you've been done on three counts of murder and one count of not letting us know you're coming to commit murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they've got a lot of phone boxes right on the city, on the limit. It's just the just the entire state is just surrounded in phone boxes. Every entrance has got like nineteen phone boxes. And they've just got nine one one. That's the only That's, number you yeah. can dial. It's just the chief of police. Speed yeah, it just straight through to him. Yeah. Uh, in Arizona, if you are found stealing soap, you must wash yourself until the bar of soap has been completely used up. Wow. That is an old wives' t- that is like old mother's method. That's a of, brilliant. Yeah. So just. FYI, guys, if you are intending to go to, where was it, Arizona? Arizona. To North. steal soap. I assume that's might, a statewide law. Might I suggest you only steal hotel soap because it's teeny tiny yes. and that will not take you very long. And uh, There will be minimal pruning and or abrasions. Exactly. Um, the thing's fucking about it. Uh, stupid dad, but... <laughs> right. Screw you, out. So, uh, it is illegal in Idaho. Uh, no, I've already done that one. That's the, the food one. Here we go. Uh, in Eureka, Nevada. If you have moustaches, it is illegal for you to kiss a woman. So no kissing for you in uh, Eureka, Nevada. Uh, this is my favourite one just because it is nothing but blatant sexism. Okay. It is horrific sexism. It is it is against the law for a woman to drive a car in Main Street unless her husband is walking in front of her car waving a red flag. <laughs> that is basically... A woman cannot drive a car until a man is in front of her warning everyone a woman is driving. There's a woman driver about. Yeah. Oh my god, that that's is terrible. Just, that is horrific. I tell a lie, this is my favourite one, and it is the number one on the list. In Washington, again, Washington State, you can be arrested or fined for harassing Bigfoot. <laughs> Motherfucking Bigfoot. <laughs> a, oh, what, for all intents and purposes, is a mythical beast. You, you can don't piss it off. Don't harass him. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Can I have your picture? Bigfoot, yeah, can I have your big... picture? Right, I'm having you arrested. Okay. Right, let's see, you're harassing Bigfoot. He's not even there, you're harassing him. <laughs> That's amazing. So, I do have from when we were, so that we haven't, we recorded a couple of uh, pilot things for this just to test setups and what have you. Um, and we had one where I tell Jay the titles of season 12 of Always Sunny. 
which I have um, not yet seen. Which we've not seen. Uh, I don't believe they're all out yet. They might be. I haven't checked. Um, but I we did episode one, two, and three. Uh, mm-hmm. This does have spoilers for Always Sunny, um, but only light spoilers. You know, it just gives you the premise of the episode. So if you don't want to hear it, I suggest skipping away now. Um, but yeah, basically, I give Jay the title, and Jay tells me what he thinks the episode is about. Yes. So uh, episode four of yeah. uh, season twelve <clears throat> is titled Wolf Cola, comma, a public relations nightmare. So Wolf Cola. Okay, so Wolf Cola is the brand that it's Frank's Frank money owns. laundering. Fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so something horrific is going to have to happen with Wolf Cola. So yep. they're going to have to find out that it causes some horrible disease or it accidentally kills someone in some fashion. Uh, okay. There, there is also a that that well, that's part of it. There is also a, a another recurring beverage makes is an appearance it, in this one. Uh, Fight milk. It is fight milk. Fight milk. Fight Train milk. like a crow. Yeah, power of crows. Yeah. Um. So what actually happens in that episode? Uh, actually, I'll do the next one. Uh. So the episode after that is uh making uh making of Dennis Reynolds a murderer. So you know they're making a murderer TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So De- Dennis just straight up kills somebody now. Um. Well. <laughs> yeah. Surely. Yeah. Well. Or uh, somebody else straight up kills someone and. Uh, Dennis is framed. For who it, who do you think Dennis would kill? It is a named character. It's not a random character. Dennis would kill anyone and everyone. Who who would he stand the best? Uh, think think about think about I'm, past past Dennis' life. Who who has caused him the most it's strife? Got to be Cat Lady, uh, Thingy Ponderosa, Maureen Ponderosa. Maureen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so oh, does he straight up kill the Cat Lady? This this is this is the spoilers part. So you're about to get the premise of the episode. So, in Wolf Cola, comma, a public relations nightmare, uh, Wolf Cola becomes the official drink for Boko Haram. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, and then it splits off as to um, Frank, D, and Dennis being the PR guys, where Dennis is basically doing the route of things like BP, where you go on there, you say apologetic words, but don't say anything. You don't admit liability, yeah. don't do anything. We say, we're sorry, we're sorry. And everything's like, and then D and Frank take it in turns to just make shit worse. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and that's basically the premise of the episode. Um, and there is a, a appearance of um, fight milk because that's owned by Wolf Cola. Of so um, um, they find out that because Frank was worried about uh, no, sorry, uh, <clears throat> Mac and Charlie were worried about the appearance of uh, fight milk because of the problems of having Wolf Cola attributed to Boko Haram. Sure. Um, so, but they find out that um, fight milk has become a massive seller in the uh, UFC market, um, okay. and they think it's because it because it's Mac obviously thinks oh they're, they're training supplements they're getting ripped yeah. off of it. No, it's just for them to get horrifically ill so they can meet their weight. Like they can train <laughs> and train and train and just crap out and vomit up all of their weight yeah. just before a weigh in, and the, <laughs> it, it's just always feels like yeah nothing nothing drains you like fire milk. And, <laughs> But then they try and make actual supplements, yeah. and it just goes horribly wrong. Of course, as everything does. So in making Dennis, Dennis Reynolds a murderer, it is indeed Maureen Ponderosa who dies. Yeah. Um, but it's shot in the way where um, it's the same way of making a murderer. Sure. So it's it's shot as like a found footage, re uh, reconstruction yeah. kind of thing. Um, but basically, it ends up it's just a TV episode that has been drawn up by um, Charlie and Mac oh, at okay. the end. Uh, and the, it basically at the end of your Dennis is like, um, well, this I mean, what about the CCTV footage that just show her walking around on the roof like a cat and falling off? Like, well, you can't show them that because that's that's evidence. They don't want evidence. <laughs> they want conjecture and they want hearsay and they want it will make you not look guilty and no one will come back and watch it. No one will watch the other ten episodes. It's like you're making it a ten episode season. It's like yeah, and then the, you get spars on from there. Yeah. So they are they are very good episodes. But yeah, uh, there are more out. I just haven't pressed to download because I was caught short. That was going to be my research for tonight. I was going to be downloading all of those and um, it no, because it was brought forward. Yeah, he's blaming me for that a lot. Yeah, well, which is fair because yeah, it's my fault. It is your fault. Yeah. Um, is there anything else? Because we are at we're only at forty four minutes. Forty four minutes. Yeah, wow, we've got sixteen minutes to kill. Yeah, I mean the hour is a loose thing. Very loose. Very loose. Like me. Yes. Uh, I'm like a windsock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been terrible today. You can hear me coming from a mile off. Just... Oh, the imagery. <laughs> the imagery. Um, have you heard back about that thing 
about the writing thing that you weren't going to talk about. Oh day. no, I won't hear back from that until September. Has, has it closed? Uh, it's closed. It's done. So did you want to openly talk about it as more people that because this one will be uh, published? I don't. I don't know if I should. In all no. honesty, so. Long story it, it's short. not all written by you, is it? So, yeah, yeah, no, no. Long story short, uh, Nickelodeon hosts a competition. So for any budding writers out there, I think they do this every year, uh, where you have to write a spec script for a show. Yeah, you've done a couple, haven't you? I've done a couple now. Um, and they give you a list of shows that you're allowed to write for. You have to write as if it's going to be made current um, as an episode. Obviously, it's not, but that's why they want you to write to prove that you can write to other people's characters. Yeah, and the style yeah. of. And exactly. Because obviously um, most shows have pools of writers, so you have to be able to continue the style of the show on exactly without that, being yeah. the official writers. The, uh, the the top prize for it is like a six-month uh, like work experience, essentially, with Nickelodeon yeah, um, it's like a, and a, some money. It's like a placement. Yeah, effect, exactly. It? Yeah. It's like work and placement, work yeah. and practice, but paid. Um, and Yeah, and some money. Um, so myself and my writing life partner have written a spec script for... Always sunny. Yeah, we are massive Always Sunny fans. But, well. uh, but I will leave it there. I'm not saying anything else about no. it. And we find out in September no, that's when the judging is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'd be cool. And um, you're doing your band blog. Doing the band blog you at the moment, blog. yes. This is yeah. DJ plugging his writing section. <laughs> so, so, yeah. For the all uh, none viewers that I have and zero subscribers yeah. that I have on the. Yeah! Free plugs! Of, yeah, as of now, the uh, 14 videos I have uploaded to you. Nice. Yeah. So, that's uh, Band to the Bone, uh, WordPress.com. It is essentially it's a blog, semi-fictional blog, written from the point of view of a band in the very early days of their career, sort of before they've made any kind of great strides. And it, the idea is that it ties together the misery of being in a band. Because frankly, until someone throws giant piles of cash at you, it is basically miserable all the time. Yeah, it's, it, 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 and if anyone has been in a band, you'll know that to be true. You play horrible shows in crappy little dives to six people who don't care who you are. And that's your life. So that's what we've written about. Yeah, so it's all the crap about renting a really shitty car that you don't get a hotel room. Exactly, yeah. Sleeping yeah. in vans because you have like £16 to do a tour with. Exactly that, yeah. yeah. Getting bumped from shows and cut from shows and not paid for shows and abused by people. Yeah, it's all the fun stuff, right? Really. And expecting people for you to play for free, but yeah. they're giving you the opportunity to play. The exposure. Yeah. Yay for exposure. Yeah, you yeah. can't put money on exposure. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you're yeah, really pay, pay, pay food. Yeah. Or the least they can do is get you drunk. Like an hourly wage. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what that's about. Um, and I think that's currently all the writing stuff we've got on the go. We are about to work on a new project, but I really can't go into that. Partly because it's really early days. And <laughs> you there's not a lot to say. We'll also say Jay has also had a few scripts and some, uh, sketches. Sketches and yeah. one-liners and bits and pieces on, on the radio. On, yes. on the beep. On the Beeb, yeah. lovely BBC Radio 4 Extra, yeah. uh, a very entertaining show called News Jack, which if you are a writer and you like writing comedy, they take open subscriptions every season, so just submit some stuff. Just throw um, words at it. And another one called Show What You Wrote. Uh, news Jack is topical news comedy, which is why occasionally, if you catch me at the right time of year, I know what's going on in the news. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't, it's, then I haven't got a clue. From what you've told me, it's kind of like um, not the nine o'clock news style stuff. Very, yeah, very sort of, yeah. of the moment. It's, it's yeah, or um, mock the week. Mock the week, yeah. yeah. Um, or um, uh, oh god, my brain's gone. No, uh, yeah, I'm, I know you with. Um, Paul Merton and what have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, have I got news for you? Have I got news for you? Yeah. Boom, done. It's that, yeah, it's basically the radio version of that, basically. <laughs> I've uh, never... Another one called Show What You Wrote, which is just a kind of crazy off-the-wall sketch show that, again, takes open submissions. So either of these things are good. We're talking to people as if anyone has even fucking listened to this. For I know, moment, but that's nice, right? Yeah. If anyone does ever listen in the future... In the future. They'll be going, what the fuck's a radio? What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> what is this? Sorry, Ant Overlord, I will go back to work. The the irony of discussing radio on a podcast, the medium of which is replacing live radio. Yeah, shh. <laughs> Don't mention it. If anyone ever does listen, it will blow their is tiny that, minds. Is that sound soundception? Soundception. Let's go with soundception. Noise noiseception. I don't know. Noiseception, yeah. Whatever. Sound I don't know. I'm rubbing it again now. Um I literally am out of topics now. Um yeah, like we could talk about geeky things that we want. Oh, to uh, no, what's that actually? Uh, oh, uh, Mass Effect games. 
Oh, I'm actually, games, I'm actually yeah. excited for games once. I am not, but carry on. And I will it. enjoy your excitement. But Mass Effect, I don't know anything about it, and that's the best bit. Have you not played any of the other Mass Effect? <laughs> yeah, I played. Well, I played Mass Effect one to about seventy percent, and then okay. then I got lost in mining. Okay, so um, I finished Mass Effect one, and I loved it. And then Mass Effect came two came out, and I did not play it. I love Mass Effect. I, I then played Mass Effect three came three out, times. and I. Didn't even I didn't pick up three. I had I bought three collector's edition. I played it for a grand total of twenty oh, minutes. Realised I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. I just wasn't paying attention. Never went back to it. Sure. I was going to try and really quickly mash it out before Andromeda came out, and then mm. I was like Mass Effect. That's like sixty yeah, like, hours. There is no really quickly. <laughs> I can I can mainline the quest, but that's not Mass Effect. So there's no point in me doing that. Yeah. And it Andromeda spears off in a completely different thing, so it doesn't really matter. But it's just my completionist head is like. Ooh. Something to complete, and like no, that's that's I don't have a hundred hours to sink into Mass Effect. No, no, um, no. Horizon came out as well. The See, Horizon, if robotic PS, yeah. Jurassic Park. If I had a PlayStation, I'd play Horizon because it's got dinosaurs, mechano, got robot dinosaurs, yeah, mechano dinosaurs. Yeah. What? Why would a you play that? A mechanosaurus, as it were. A mechanosaurus, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Um, on a related topic, I was hanging out with some of my friends a little while ago. I do have them, other than him. Uh, I question this. All right, they're people I pay to hang out with me. Um, and one of them brought up the fact that um, dinosaur erotic fiction oh, yeah. is a thing. Oh, yeah, Pokemon erotic fiction is a thing. Yeah. I, I, I not, not the that. humans, the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can actually get Pokemon-shaped vibrators. I don't by, doubt that. By a company called, wait for it. Pokeballs. No, no, no. no. Uh, Pokemon. 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 Oh, Pokemon. I see, yeah. yeah. No, Pokeballs um, is trademarked. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, so there's a, an amazing... Uh, dinosaur eroticals taken by the T Rex. That sounds painful. Which, yeah, yeah, is so like at first you're like, well, Unless dinosaur really, is weird. Is it more like his hands? Is it just really, really small? No, it's about a human lady person falling in love and in oh, erotic it. love yeah. with the T Rex. Yeah, but what, is his Johnson like his little like little hand? Is he little hand, little Johnson? I don't. I genuinely. Or is it like staring down the barrel of like one of those I'll be really honest, big I haven't hands. read it. Because it cost real money yeah. on Amazon, so yeah. I did. Well, I'm, it's like 99p, surely. Probably. Yeah. Uh, but we did read the reviews of it, which were all glowing. Yeah, there was one that I, um, I saw, it was a uh, homoerotic Pokemon fetish. Excellent. Yeah, that was a growing niche in uh, in the Amazon book thing. World, yeah, yeah. Kindle. Erotica is apparently a really easy way to make money on Amazon. Yeah, and like... I should probably do it. I could totally write a better Fifty Shades in like it's no time flat. Yeah, it's not yeah, hard. it's really not. No. Hard. Oh, so I went to um, so we have a we have a like lo- a lovely local cinema. Um, it's it, not. It it, it, has, it doesn't realise it's not nineteen forties anymore. No, uh, which is the best bit about it. Yeah, it's brilliant. In the in the so they've got two screens. One's quite small. One's a proper decent Your, size. Yeah. Um, classic, with balcony. Yeah. Um, and around the walls, they've got pictures of like the old. They've got Silver like um, um, Age of Cinema yeah. heroes, like Errol Flynn and stuff like that. Uh, which Lucy, is, Lucille Ball, and yeah, yeah, yeah which stuff, I absolutely yeah. love the fact that they're up there. So I, I love the cinema; it's a great cinema. Um, Silver Screen and Folkestone, if you're ever in Folkestone. Uh, but we went there to watch Lego Batman. Oh yeah, I just which missed is that. Excellent. I missed that. By the way, please everyone go and watch it; it's brilliant. Um, and on the same night that we went and saw Lego Batman in the small screen. Which I'm fine with because in the small screen they've um, they've updated it slightly so that it can be used for the local council's meetings. Oh, as well, nice! So it's a means... flat flat floor with a table in the middle. At the front, there's a very tiny UN style seating arrangement. There's there's I think it's three rows of curved desks with chairs. That just sounds really awkward for watching a film. No, no, it's brilliant. You take in your food mm. and you've got a little table in front oh, of you nice. for eating on. It's great. It's kind of like the deluxe cinema. cinema yeah, it just is. Just nowhere near as good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's nice. Anyway, we went into Watch Logo Batman and on the main screen, showing at the same time, was Fifty Shades, the new one. <laughs> yeah, Fifty Shades are great. Shades. Fifty Shades Darker. Darker, yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously the, the queue just polarised and went off into two separate ways. And the film's finished at around about the same time. So as we were coming out of Lego Batman with enormous grins on our face, looking like we've had the best time of our life, yeah. all these people were trotting out of Fifty Shades looking just miserable. <laughs> just like they had been like they had been violated. Like they'd had the worst thing happen to them in the world. There wasn't anyone looking reasonably exhausted or sweaty or No, possibly. no, just a series of miserable faces. I'm gonna say I haven't seen any of them. I, I haven't no. I haven't read any of them. I I've, I've I seen snippets read. of them. I got sent when I had a Kindle, I got sent the first chapter of the first book as a 
free a taste, uh, taster. Yeah, yeah. So like you, you might enjoy this yeah. because everyone's buying it. Yeah. Uh, so I read it, and I can honestly say it's one of the worst written things I've ever. It's because it's, it's, it's fan fiction. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's grammatically poor. It's there's no good imagery. It's like it's just badly written. It's also there's no other way to explain it. It's badly written. From what I understand as well, it is just an abusive. It's not. It's, it's not, not a, a master BDSM. dom like no, no, not a dom sub relationship, no. not a healthy dom sub relationship. No. Anyway, they did it's... not. Uh, whoever her name is that wrote it, I can't remember. I don't know. Her um, yeah. did not research her material in any way, shape, or form, and it is like you say, it's just an abusive relationship. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it was it was originally Twilight fan fiction. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. And then it did really it well bast- for some reason. It got bastardised and split into three books because yeah. why not fucking make it a trilogy? Because, exactly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's god-awful in every way. And the faces of these people just really hammered that home. Like, yeah. You have not enjoyed that, have you? I ho- I'd like to think that's on Valentine's Day as well because that's they were both out on... Um, was it? Or was it near, it'd be it was, around Valentine's it was, Day. It was very... Yeah. My week, like, like the weekend of... I don't think we actually went and saw it on Valentine's Day. No. no, we did. It might have been but... like weekend before, weekend after because that's when everyone would have I gone and done I think it was the weekend after. Their... Yeah, that's where people would have gone and done their... Possible Basically, day watching thing. Lego Batman was a much, much better time. I did go and watch a film recently. I don't go to the cinema all that often mm. anymore. Um, but I did go watch Trainspotting 2. Okay, yeah. Have you seen Trainspotting, the original? I have. It's a fantastic film. It is a very good it's, film. It's so good. Trainspotting 2 is exactly the same thing. Yeah. Which is the best thing about it. This is exactly is, what yeah, it was. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the best thing. It's same people, directed by the same person. Like Danny Boyle done both of them. Yeah. And it's, it's in exactly the same ilk. It's fantastic. Big B is hilarious. Yeah. Um, Ren Boy is fantastic as well. And so it's exactly what you wanted. Oh yeah, 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 it was so good. It was, and they held off on um, the Iggy Pop song right at the very mm. end because there was a. I was worried they were gonna like sort of play Spack too much nostalgia, early. but half of it was flashbacks, mm-hmm. but not to the original film. It was oh, okay. too beforehand, so they've got nice. like a flashback of Renton and Sick Boy scoring their first hit off a dealer and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. That. So it's quite cool. Uh, but they they went back to where you know, the, the iconic walk where they went with Tommy and what. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, it's a really good film. Definitely worth watching if okay. you find it on some form of on-demand service. Yes. Um, which I've also seen Amazon now do Amazon TV, just their TV. You don't have to have Prime to get Amazon TV now. Really? Yeah, five ninety nine. I saw on on the YouTube's advert. Mm. Five ninety nine a month, and you get access to Amazon Prime Video. Interesting, because frankly, really good. I they're, love they're, Amazon. They're yeah, so their TV is there. kind of what I wanted. The only bits I really watch of it anyway. Yeah, Netflix is better for films. Yeah. For a broad part of it. Yeah. Um, and Prime so much Some of the TV. Netflix original TV stuff are really good. Not the Ridiculous Six. No. No, 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 no. no. I do not need no. to... I do not need a donkey shitting as a no. joke for me. No, no. Um, Adam Sandler is shit now. He, well, Adam Sandler just doesn't try. No. He's like, fuck it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, like, you've already paid me for ten fucking films. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But no, the, the Netflix, the TV original Netflix stuff, oh, actually, some of it's really, really good. Like the Marvel stuff. And the I'm Marvel watched, stuff. I'm like, Marvel stuff. Um, Daredevil was great. Luke Cage was okay. This... Jessica Jones was okay. Iron Fist, I've got very deep concerns about. I've not seen it yet. It's reported to be really bad. Yeah, I think it's probably not reviewing is, well. In all honesty, all. yeah. Um, for two reasons, these are all just my opinions. Obviously, I've not seen it. Don't worry, I read the disclaimer. Know. I read the disclaimer. We're legally safe. Yeah. One, Iron Fist is not a very good character. I didn't even know who it was. I know I've heard of the rest of them. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So basically, in the comics, Iron Fist is Luke Cage's partner. They're in a thing called Heroes for Hire. Right. They go around. It's a protectors of money. like protectors in New York. Aren't they? they become the defenders along with uh, Daredevil and yeah. Jessica Jones. Yeah, that's what they're building up to. Iron it? Fist is just not. It's not very good. From what I saw, it looks like Luke Cage just not as good. He's a martial arts expert. He has like magical powers. He can hit things really hard. But isn't that what Luke Cage does? Kind of. But without the martial arts, yeah. He just uh, he can uh, he can focus his chi because yeah, he glowy was, yellow hand. It was written in the seventies, and focusing your chi was a big thing then. So anyway, he's not a very good character, and because they're building the defenders, that's what they're aiming for. Yeah, yeah. When Daredevil was done, it was just done because Daredevil, Daredevil was, cool. was cool, and that and, was yeah. brilliant. And then Jessica Jones was done. Because Daredevil did well. Yeah. And then they went, oh, hang on, we could do the Defenders, but to do the Defenders, we need Luke Cage, we need Iron Fist. Yeah, so let's let's, let's shout out a couple of extra exactly. ones just to make the Defenders. And, and I think Iron Fist has suffered the most from the, I'm just here to set up the Defenders, yeah. because he's not a good character in his own right anyway. The Whereas Luke Cage, there's some interesting stuff about him. 
almost like the Ant Man of. Um, yeah. I mean, I really enjoy Ant Man. Ant Man yeah. is a is a cookie cutter film. Yeah. It's not a good film, but it isn't is. It's, it's just you know Iron what you get. Yeah. Small instead of. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm um two. Yeah, what yeah. It is. It's just okay. like just, <clears throat> just go, right film done. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Paul Rudd's a great. Oh, oh he's hilarious. Paul Rudd like yeah. so that's cool. Um, actually, I think Ant Man was better in Civil War than he was in his entire a l- film. A lot of people were better in Civil War than they were in most of their yeah. films. But then Civil War itself wasn't actually very good. I love Civil War. Oh, yeah. very good. It's better than Age of Ultron. It's a better Avengers film than the Avengers film. It was. It just was. The Ave- okay. Avengers Age of Ultron. Ultron was. Yeah, no, like. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to put. I'm trying to order them in my head. Age of Ultron, Age of Ultron is, is terrible. Yeah, where you the get with Civil Witch. War is that all the Civil War stuff doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. It could all be fixed pretty easy. But then it's a comic yeah. book. Well, if, like, if it makes sense, comic books. Yeah, if, um, if, if comic books made, it's all based on a comic book. Then. The thing is, <laughs> if, yeah, the, if comic books could fix things easily, you'd have like two issues in a run. There are there are ways that it could have been done that are a lot. E- like, part of the problem with it is it was far too complex. Baron Zemo's plan was terrible and required a lot of like hopefully this they'll one. respond in this way yeah if they don't i'm screwed but hopefully they will or it could be he knew his targets really well so yeah, he predicted no, their no, moves in a mastermindish kind of fashion yeah it's not presented in that way at all because no. it's just a man with a book <laughs> he's just reading words yeah yeah uh he was like a, a soldier or whatever he was when uh, no he was a he was a resident of uh, he was a resident yeah. of the the yeah. of the age of ultron place that went up and came yeah. down and killed all his Slovenia, family. No, way. No. Slovakia, no. no, it wasn't. It's no real word. It was yeah, no real place. country. It's where so, Scarlet yeah. Witch and Quicksilver were from as well. So anyway, Iron Fist, I think it's probably terrible. I've promised a friend that I will watch it with them, so I, I have to wait until they're available. Yeah. Um, I am currently watching Legion. Oh yes, I've heard good I, things. Yeah, I can't make up my mind. I've heard it's strange. Yeah, so I mean... It's like flash forward, back, sad, roundabout. Yeah, about. you go all over the place. Again, if you know the source material, it makes sense why it's so weird, because yeah. Legion is a messed up character anyway. Yeah, and the whole that whole comic book arc yeah. that it's taken from is a strange um, arc. Stylistically, it looks amazing. Yeah, I've like, heard it's the It's got CG a great thing. sense of it. Um, but it, I'm three episodes in, and I'm confused as shit. Yeah. Very weird. But I want to watch the rest, so I guess it's done its job. I'm, I'm, I've got really boring in my TV recently. I'm watching Ripper Street. It's a BBC drama. Oh, so you're now a 40 year old woman? No, I would say probably a 65 year old man. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've retired. Yeah. So now I'm now interested in investigating vi- uh, Victorian police. Yeah. yeah. Victorian police activities yeah. and the um, evolution of Britain over through the Victorian era. Yeah, you have become 65 and retired, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I really have nothing. Well, it's, if, if I'm retired, if it's going to be me, I'm 174. Because I'll yeah, be that's retirement true. age by the time I get to it. Yeah, welcome to the generation that doesn't retire. We work until we die. Yeah, well, we can't retire. We have no pensions. Can't afford it, no. Yeah, we have no pension. I've got a pension. It's just terrible. I have three. Yeah. Like, I've looked at how much I'll have per week when I retire, and it is not enough to... Oh, yeah, no, mine's like £400 a week yeah. at the moment. But that's if I keep putting in... Uh, as much as you are putting yeah, in. Yeah, I'll have forty-five grand to put in, which I can claim at 75 yeah. is how it stands now, which yeah. will last me at £400 a week for about 20 years. So hopefully I'll be dead by four, before I'm 100. Mm. I'm intending to die before 70. I'm intending to die just without me knowing. Really? If okay. it just, just happens. An interesting well, way to do it. Yeah. See, I, live... I booked mine in. I just oh, thought that was a better way to do it. No, I, I live free. Uh, yeah. By the seat of your pants. Yeah. Uh, my, the, the hashtag YOLO lifestyle. Or whatever. Yes, the, the YOLO is. indeed. Yes. You only live once unless you're a Buddhist. Unless you're a Buddhist. Which I am. Well, I'm not. I just believe in reincarnation. Because it makes... I just can't be bothered with religion. It's too much effort. Yeah, it's too much effort. It's, it's a lot to remember. Uh, yeah, and a lot of things you should shouldn't maybe kind of should do, but not on that day. Because yeah, you can't and but you can on this day. Yeah, yeah, it's all very confusing. It's all talking to a giant man, a monster in the sky anyway. So yeah. yeah. Other good news: uh, Preacher has been renewed for season two. Don't know if you watched Preacher at all. No, I didn't. Preacher's I remember you excellent. telling me about it. Yeah, Preacher's really good, and they've just confirmed there's a season two on the way. Have they turned um, that? Political drama into a comedy yet? Which were the, the cards? No, the other one. Um, designated Survivor. Designated Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> designated Survivor has been renewed. Is so it? I watched all of season one, and yeah. at no point did it become a comedy, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So in one of the pilots, Jerry was describing to me what Designated Survivor was, and it yeah. sounded like a fantastic situational comedy. Yeah. So. But apparently, it's a gritty political drama. Uh, it stars Kiefer Sutherland of Twenty Four Fame, but he's not Jack Bauer, which is and also uh, should be. Call of Duty World at War. Yes, yeah. 
Um, and the idea is that apparently this is a real thing that happens whenever um, the American government gets together to discuss stuff. Politics. Yeah. And ways to spend um, taxpayers' money. And they're all in one place. They take one member of each party, Democrats and Republicans, um, a random person, and they remove them from the situation and put them somewhere safe elsewhere. So that if a bomb goes off on Capitol Hill and kills every single person in the government... And there are still people left to run. Exactly. And one of those two people will become the new president. Basically. So does that fall back to whatever the party originally had the president? Does it fall back to that one? No. So if it's a Democratic president... See, what's a bit weird is that Jack Bauer, Keith Sutherland, yeah. was an independent. So he was neither Democratic or Republican. Okay, it was just a third party. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so he's this really meek, mild-mannered dude. Totes, spoilers, by the way. For British people, he's basically like the constituent, the member of parliament for Kidderminster. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, absolutely, yeah. absolutely nothing. He's of not important. important. He's never going to have any sway. He's done nothing interesting in his life. And he becomes president. And it's essentially how like this guy deals with, A, not, not just being the president, but being the president after an enormous terrorist attack. Which country in turmoil. Yeah, man like, that's going to be tricky for someone who's been gearing up to be president, let alone for some guy that just worked in housing for a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, it's about... Well, he'll, get, he'll get the House of Representatives rebuilt, won't he? I mean, he works in housing. Well, yeah, that's, that's a good start. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's about him dealing with that, basically. Um, and I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, you're right. It, it would have been a great comedy. Sounds like a fantastic situational comedy. Um, but again, that's also been renewed for a second season. Fingers crossed they bring some levity into it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully so. It's, it, yeah, it just sounds like an, an, an op- a fantastic way of creating an opera of horrors. It's it's amazing because he, he's just, from nowhere, he's just got this amazing backbone. He's shouting down like other world leaders. He's like, <laughs> go, son, you go get them. For some reason, yeah. Dave, Dave from accounting. Who now he's is just the really CFO. mad. Though. He's really stepped up for it. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, well, by the power of patriotism, I see. We're going to go by the power of Grayskull then for a second. God, that'd be amazing. And your new president <laughs> is E Man! <laughs> Dolph Lundgren. No, no, I've seen some pictures of Dolph Lundgren currently. He's not very well. Dolph Lundgren? No, I'm he, thinking. He's an old guy. No, not Dolph Lundgren. I'm thinking of the other guy. Who's the Stallone. guy from. No, Stallone, uh, guy from Top Gun. Uh, uh, Tom Cruise? No, the other one. Val Kilmer. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. I'm glad you know. I don't know people. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah he, he apparently is doing a one-man show currently in LA for uh, Mark Twain, I want to say. Oh, is he? Okay, yeah. could be, could be. But yeah, he... he, he no, actually, he, I've seen a picture of him fairly recently. He's he not done one set, Yeah, he, he had the 80s, I'm an amazing heartthrob, so I'm going to do absolutely nothing for a long time, and then yeah. didn't make any money, and then yeah. ate a lot of burgers. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, and now his daughter's fantastic. But, right. you know, this happens. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just, I just saw a picture and I'm like, wow, well, that's different. From I was at a house party the other day. I'll get you. Because I'm 18, mm-hmm. clearly. It was weird, actually. It very much felt like I was 18. Yeah. But not because, you know, well, I'm old. Was there two people making out of the sofa for the Probably. entire party? They played a drinking game. I did not take part in it. Yeah. Uh, because, basically, I do drink, but sometimes don't fancy it. Yeah. And and don't and didn't at this particular party um now for those of you who have seen uh a show called new girl yeah it's a tv sitcom i don't particularly like it but apparently they're big fans of it actually it's just it's just very attractive that's, that's the best thing about it so de chanel yes yeah, so oh yeah she's incredibly attractive yeah. but i have the internet i can just look at pictures yeah of right. i'm just saying that's that's the i don't need to see her in a subpar sitcom no um there's a drink game in there called true american right and they played a variation of that. So the idea of True American in the show, you never actually really know what the rules are. You just jump in partway through various games, and they're doing something odd, and then someone drinks. That's what happened. Okay, yeah. So they cobbled together some of the rules that they could figure out, and then worked in some other ones. And then they worked in this other amazing rule, where basically they had various things on the floor, like little planks of wood and cushions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there were chairs involved and a table and a piano stool because we're British and everyone has a piano stool. It sounds like you're making an amazing fort. Right. The floor is lava. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you can't step on the floor. If you step on the floor... Everyone everywhere knows the floor is lava. Exactly. If you step on the floor, you have to take a swig from the bottle in the middle, which was spiced rum this time, I think. Okay. Well, just, just neat spice drum? Yep. Oh, nice. Just n- straight from the bowl. Nice. Um, then, basically, everyone takes a turn. 
And on your turn, you can do one of three things. You can either declare numbers, in which case you go one, two, three, and then each of you uh, puts up a set of numbers against your forehead. Okay. If you are the only person that picked that number, you get to move that many spaces. Right, okay. Okay. If everyone picked the same... It's a like a drinking rule that's going to be good for about 15 minutes until everyone's too drunk to remember yeah. the rules. Second one, you can say quotes. You start a quote, and the first person to shout out the end of that quote gets to move, I think for a quote was three spaces. Right, okay. If no one gets it, you move three spaces. Mm -hmm. So the idea is you pick obscure quotes. Yeah. Um, and then the third thing they did... Oh, the third thing was um, was links. So you would shout out two people, mm -hmm. and someone had to guess what the thing that linked Kevin Bacon. was. Yeah, that actually was my answer. I was playing from the sidelines, and I just shouted Kevin Bacon, whatever they said. Yeah, three, the three steps of Bacon. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Bacon. So yeah, so you can do these three things on your turn. And yeah. the idea is you have to get round the course that's been set out in a specific way. I think you've made a human ball game. Yeah. yeah. Um, you always have a beer in your hand. Okay. You don't have to drink constantly, but you have to drink it. If you run out of beer, mm -hmm. you are out of the game. Right. There are certain spots where beer is located. Okay. You have to get to those spots to replenish we, your we beer. Can, yeah. If you're on that spot, mm -hmm. you can pick up a beer. Mm -hmm. You could have two cans of beer, but no more. And you can never have no cans of beer. Right, okay. So if you're part way around and you finish your beer, you're fucked. Yeah. Which obviously, at the beginning, is very easy to monitor. But as you get more and more drunk, yeah, it's yeah. difficult to do. Yeah. Um, and the spillage increases as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you go past someone, you have to get past them without touching the floor. Right, okay. Bear in mind, a lot of people are stood on cushions. Yeah. It's quite tricky. I assume you mean scatter cushions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a normal cushion. Yeah. yeah. So you have to get past them on that. The game keeps going until there's no beer available right. to be picked up. And then whoever gets to, there was a certain spot that was right next to the table in the middle that had the, the, the spice drum on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you get to that spot with no beer in your hand, mm -hmm. you take a swig That's and right. you win. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So you, you basically you just want to neck your can of beer one like the space before it essentially yeah. yes and then can you, you need to move it. Could you neck it on route? So you walk really you slow. Probably you probably like, could. Glug, yeah. glug, 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 glug. You probably could neck it on route or like neck it when you get there and then take a swig. I yeah. think that would be fine. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day you're pounding a beer and then drinking yeah. some spice drum. Yeah. It was a very entertaining game to watch. The other the one other rule which I really liked was if you really needed to pee, mm -hmm. you could call for a helicopter. <laughs> And that meant you had two minutes yeah. to get from your position, go to the and toilet, and, and get back to your position. That's fair enough. Yeah. It's, good good. Would, it's would, safe, because you don't want to yeah. not let people pay. I, w I would need a I would need a lot of helicopters. Yeah. I would need a lot of helicopters. It was a very entertaining, entertaining game to watch. I'm very glad. Yes, it sounds like a fantastic sort of for. The quotes, one person, the quotes were just all Disney quotes. Right. And it turns out I know a lot of Disney dialogue. I'm probably could, I could I could pull a large amount of Disney lines out of yeah. out of somewhere if I needed to. Yeah. So yeah, it was a very entertaining game. Try it at home kids. Wait <laughs> Yeah. No not kids. No that's that's fine. Probably yeah. fine. We're British. If they're not thirteen if they're thirteen they're already drinking. Yeah. So um I did have something but I've forgotten now. But Excellent. We've gone for an hour and 13 minutes. So Look at that. We were 16 yeah. minutes shy and now we're 13 minutes over. Cutting off the bunkum at the beginning. We'll call that an hour and 10, probably. Something like that. Yeah, sure. Probably not even that. Well, it's probably about 10 minutes of bunkum at the beginning. Yeah. But anyway, this will be the end of the first uh, non-refundable podcast. I've been Niff. He's been Jay. We didn't say that at the beginning. So. But now you know. But now you know. It's an hour and 13 of mystery. Uh, and now you know what sultry tones you've been listening to. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will be releasing the episode shortly. I have no idea how frequent these will be, because we are both busy people. Yeah. But they will try and be somewhat regular. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we do have YouTube videos of gameplay up. Um, just search 177 on YouTube. I'm not popular enough to be able to have a custom URL yet. <laughs> but the more people who subscribe, the more that helps me out. And um, yeah, come back to 177entertainment.com for more podcasts and videos and what have you in the future. Cheers. Bye.